صلى الرسول بالهدى والدين الحق الذي على الدين كل وكفى بالله شهيدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسول اما بعد we live in times where there's a lot of people hate to see you being blessed and they are enemy of the blessing that you receive from Allah Rabbul Izzah Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to protect himself from people like this let me tell you something one of the biggest and uh, biggest calamity is the one who neglect the notion of evil eye hasad envy and black magic and just jinn possession and take this notion very very lightly this individual will become a catalyst of his own down fall as black magic evil eye and hasad it is real muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says evil eye will take many to the grave evil eye is so dangerous and today there is a lot of people who are, are taking this notion very very lightly and there is a lot of people out there who are enemy to your blessings there is so many hadiths about evil eye but let me just stick to one hadith that's it that evil eye will take many to the grave this is evil eye as siddiq al amin muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to seek protection from this on a regular basis so many duas out there until allah rabbul izza sent down muawwidatain qul a'udhu bi rabbil falq wa rabbil nas and from there muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to seek protection through these duas and he used to read upon hasan and al husain he used to read upon them radiyallahu anhum daily to allah to protect them this is the way forward and this is how it should be done one means to protect himself against evil eye is absolutely dangerous you have to seek protection from evil eye allah rabbul izza says in the quran lahu muaqibat min bain yadayhi wa min khalfi yahfazun ibn al abbas says muaqibat is the angels the one who protects you the one who allah sends him and these angels protect you from any another calamity whether is coronavirus whether is tuberculosis whether there is any another disease out there any problem they protect you from it because allah placed them there so if you are not seeking protection by you reading adhkars morning and evening and asking allah to protect you when you go out you ask allah to protect you when you eat food you ask allah to protect you when you dress up you ask allah to protect you by saying the correct supplications these angels who allah send them will protect you by allah rabbul izza unless the decree takes place evil eye is very very dangerous evil eye when the individual is hit by evil eye that individual will be in a lot of difficulty will struggle so so much in his life it will be dark after dark some come to me and say ya sheikh i feel like coming suicide i feel like there is no importance in life at all i say what's going on he say my life is dark after dark and when i found out this brother is go evil eye there was a brother who came to me and the brother narrated to me he feels that like to end his life this brother is a doctor in an nhs this is a brother has got degrees in the dunya side he has studied and learned look at it the evil eye has hit him from his mother in law and now is taking him down the evil eye has taken it toll to the marriage and the marriage is no more there now is taking the life of the brother slowly slowly this is evil eye evil eye is real is not joke evil eye cause damage to the people evil eye cause damage to marriages evil eye cause damage to children evil eye cause damage to well you will see an individual who was very generous and when he was hit by evil eye he turned him and he become stingy you see an individual who was very very 
upright and running towards the knowledge of the dean. And evil eye hits him and he returned back. That's it. Gone out of the window. Hates the religion. Hates everything. A couple of years back, there was a Somali young man. He used to be a very, very good Qari. He went and done the competition in Imarat, the Quran competition. When he went back home, he was hit by Ebola. This is a very young man, nine years old young man. He hated the Quran from there. A couple of years back, I dealt with a one Bangladeshi brother who was hit by evil eye when he went to Bangladesh. He came back, he hated anything to do with Islam. Before he went to Bangladesh, he used to pray five times, love the Salah, love everything to do with Islam. He questioned me, he asked me, how can I follow somebody who I have not seen? Somebody who I've just heard people narrate to me. Who was he talking about? He was talking about Al-Saddiq Al-Ameen Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Nadirun Bashir, the warner. A'udhu Billahi Min Hadha. This is what evil eye did to him. And you'll find out today, people posting their food, posting their children, posting their whatever they are blessing, post it. Some come to me here in this studio of mine, have evil eye because of what? Because of posting stuff in the Instagram or Snapchat or Facebook. And then they have problem in their life. Sisters envying that sister or brothers envying that brother. Why? Because of evil eye. You'll find the sister being hit by evil eye. Brothers being hit by evil eye because of what? Because of other sisters or other brothers going through the Instagram, Snapchat or Facebook. And they dislike, they become enemy of the blessings Allah has sent to that individual. While in fact, they should have not done that. They should have... Allahumma barik, mashallah, and ask Allah to grant them exactly the same. If they are not happy in their life, ask Allah to make them content by following the Quran and Sun, by following the correct way. Evil eye is not an easy notion to be taken lightly. Evil eye, if you take it lightly, you will become a catalyst of your own downfall. If you have these signs, know that you've been hit by evil eye but let me tell you something evil eye comes with a genie and it depends on how strong is that evil eye it comes again i repeat with the genie sign number one is yawning a lot when you hear the quran or when you're on your own the individual he will always feel tired he doesn't know why he's tired and he's yawning in abandon Love isolation, insomnia during sleep, spots all over the body or some part of the body. The skin color, there will be different, different patches, maybe red or maybe blue or very, very reddish patches in the body because of evil eye. For no reason, when he yawns, tears fall or one eye tear will come from the individual who's been hit by evil eye. Feeling pressure always. Itchy too much. Always the individual will feel tightness in the chest. Laziness too much. Blockages in the life for absolutely no reason. If he's to study, he don't want to study anymore. Or he, when he goes to study, he has no interest anymore. He has no interest with his marriage. He has no interest with his business. It is evil eye. Movement in the eyes or pulsating in the eyes. Feeling cold or hot. This also varies because Shaitan al ashir does this job as well. You find the individual have strange sicknesses for absolutely no reason. When he goes to the hospital, they absolutely having a clue what is his problem. Movement in his heart. The individual from loving his wife, he turns up to hate, extreme hate. You'll find the individual loving his dad turns to hate. And the list goes on, loving his job, loving his car, loving his shoes, loving his glasses and start hating his glasses. And it turns out he dislike it because of evil eye. From the individual who used to love to study and he hates suddenly, the individual who used to love to go masjid and he hates it, Suddenly, just like that, this is the sign of evil eye. Now, evil eye and magic 
they look similar, the symptoms, but you can easily tell this is evil eye and this is magic. How to treat this one is to seek is the honor of Allah. Two, five times Salah. Three, Adhkar morning, evening. Four, the individual needs to up and call tight to himself and let him become a raqi of himself and get help as well by the will of Allah. The more sincere you are, to yourself, easy you will get better is by reading Mu'awwidatin in abundant too much. Read Surah Al-Falaq, Surah Al-Nas, Qul Ya Al-Kafirun, Surah Al-Ikhlas, Surah Al-Takathur, Fatiha, and Ayat Al-Kursi. Seven of these read in abundant in a water and shower with it. This is option one. Option two, if you know the person who gave you evil eye, go and get his property. Either give him dates and take the seed of the date and use that seed of the date or his topi or his cloth or anything that belongs to him. This is option two. The option three is you tell him to make udu for you and give you his water. You use it. Option four, invite him into your house and prepare a dinner and put water there to wash the hand with that water and use that water to shower with it. The evil eye will go by Allah. But you have to be certain that it is this person who gave you evil eye. Because even the jinns give you evil eye. Inshallah, in the next clip, by the will of Allah, I'll talk about the evil eye from the jinns by the will of Allah. Now, if there's any question, I repeat, I don't need calling. I need you to drop an email and then, inshallah, I will answer back if it's very important to be answered, insha'Allah, by the will of Allah. I say this, and I pray for you, 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 and I pray for you